Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with Thor's Lightning Tanks. And let's get right to the news. All right. Well, we got news yesterday that early access was given to select Star Wars media type individuals regarding the Bad Batch season three, the final season, that they got the first half of the season available to watch. Yeah, not us. Not us. No, for some reason they don't like me at Disney. <laughs> at least I'm. They probably don't really care either they way. They probably don't but know. No, they. Well, if they do know me, it's probably not in the most positive way. Let's be. Mm. Let's be real about it. I haven't. Always but what been about nice. me? You've been. Uh, you can be harsh to Disney and Lucasfilm too. But I'm always fair. I try to be fair Ish. too. <laughs> I try to be fair with my uh, my criticisms and critiques yeah, of I mean, what they do. Some of them were YouTubers who got early access. Some of them were like news media outlets because they want, of course, to get the word out there, get these people excited, hyped up, so that they get people to watch Bad Batch. But aren't the people who are going to watch it watch it anyway? It's one this of those. This is a things season fi- three. It's yeah. not a season one. I find it very strange because it's like. Pretty much the people who are going to watch it are going to watch it no matter what the... Yes, if I went through seasons one and season you. two, I'm going to continue. At yeah, this and point. if you haven't seen those, you're probably not tuning in mm-hmm. for season three or going back to watch one and two anymore. I don't know. And after as good as last season was, there's you just didn't need hype men this season. No, I don't really think they did. Mm-mm. I think the, the part about this that irritates me the most is I don't want the spoilers out there because it's yes. inevitable. That now there's going to be some spoilers for the first half of the season out there. And that's not to say that people who did watch that aren't going to be responsible. Well, yeah, sure, most of them I'm sure are going to... They're I'm just going to give a general overview of, hey, yeah. I, I liked this, I thought it was, my emotions were here, here, to not give you the story Yeah, beats. they're probably signed some kind of agreement that they're not allowed to actually spoil things. But that's also not true because on Reddit, because I, I, I'm on Reddit, I'm on a lot of places, I get around, I got news. On Reddit there is a post... That has somebody who's watched the first half, and they're saying, hey, if you've got questions, I will DM you back your answers. Now, how do we know that the person isn't, you know, then taking the answers they get from the person who has seen them, and they're not spreading the, well, well, sure. the rumors, well, that's the leaks? the problem. Exactly. So, by you saying, hey, I'm going to, I'll let you, I'll answer any questions for you. Well, they shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't the be, because... I don't, I don't want the spoilers out there. I don't want to know. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the people who get this early have to sign some. I don't know if it's a sign in agreement or, I mean, there, there's a non A lot of times with the reviews, there's a non-disclosure thing until... There's a media date where you yeah. can start revealing information. So I wouldn't be surprised if a day or so before the first episode drops, people are bloody dropping their reviews the first few episodes. Well, sure. Which is a little bit sad because I don't want to know until I get to know. Yeah. I want I'd to know with everybody more, else. more blind than... Uh, Anything else? Mm-hmm. Like, if we would have gotten early access, I wouldn't be telling anybody anything. Which is the problem. <laughs> you wouldn't that's, even know I had That's it. another reason why they wouldn't give us early access. No, I'm, like, I'm not telling you tell anything. No, I'd probably tell people if I, if I well, felt yeah. positively or negatively, but I wouldn't go any further than that, and I wouldn't answer any specific questions. No, I would respect the rules because I don't want to ruin mm-hmm. it for other people, even if they beg me to tell them. I, mean, I believe that everything we saw in the trailer for Bad Batch, I believe... All of that is going to take place in the first eight episodes. Well, yeah. I I don't think we saw anything from the back half, and I think most of it is the first three episodes, except for maybe a few little Mm -hmm. tidbits here and there. And I kind of like that. Yeah. So Because I I, I don't want to be like, look, uh, we haven't seen this yet, we haven't seen this yet. Going back and watching, like, the Andor trailer, that thing was full of spoilers. Yeah. We just didn't know they were spoilers at the time. Yeah, you didn't know exactly what to look for? Mm, No. Like, we saw Nemec on the table getting worked on by Quad, by quad Arms Doctor Guy. Quad Arms Doctor Guy. I think that's his name, too. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, so there were so many things that if you rewatch the Andor trailer, you're like, boy, those were spoilers. Yeah. We just didn't know to look for them. Out of context, spoilers. I know nowadays there are lots of people, and I'm guilty of it, too. After I watch an episode, I'll cut out all the scenes from the trailer for that episode and then find out what I have left. I see. Mm-hmm. It kind of keeps me on my toes, helps me theorize, because... These things are still coming, and do I spot any clues in context now that I have? Some, yeah. Mm-hmm, some. Like, I was one of the people who spotted that Nebic thing. It was like, hmm, this yeah. mission may not go well for all of them. <laughs> but I didn't want to spoil that for people just because I noticed it doesn't mean everyone's going back every week and re-watching the trailer. Now that you have it, why are you re-watching the trailer a hundred times? Well, Unless you're sometimes, me. Well, sometimes <laughs> you just like to re-watch the trailer, too. Yeah. But are we going to talk about what people have kind of said? The general consensus, maybe? Sure. I mean... The general consensus is that people are happy. Well, sure. I mean, here, here's the problem with that. You're, <laughs> you're giving it to individuals, YouTube channels, and others in the media who are more than likely going to say very nice things. 
People are Which saying that Crosshair that and lying. Omega are going to be a highlight in the first yeah. half of the season, I suppose. Yeah, that's no that surprise. emotional mean, tugs are still there. Well, the, the thing that I saw, and I, I haven't really sought it out. I just, you know, you're on you Twitter, you're on the internet, yourself, yeah. people email me. I, I can't avoid Star Wars, which is fine. I'm not complaining. But mm-hmm. the, the things I've seen is that it is more streamlined. That it is not a bunch of one-off episodes as much as it is a continuing story. A kind of overarching narrative, serialized approach to the season. Okay, yeah. Kind of keeps the same story going throughout. No yeah. jump off for characterization because at this point we know these characters. Yeah, which is kind of what I've been hoping for and crossing my fingers for and talking about that I hope it is a more streamlined mm-hmm. season. So that is really good news. That's excellent news. I'm curious if we'll get any other secret character cameos. Oh, come on now. It's Dave Filoni. <laughs> no one's ever really gone, right? Right. I know one cameo we aren't getting get. Well, we know it's not a Saj Ventress because we are getting uh, that. <laughs> no, but uh, Ben Mendelsohn. A.K.A. Director, Director Krennic. Krennic. Who was in the the second to last episode of season two? Yes, he was at the episode The Summit where yes. he said like one line. Yes. Say, say, say yes, the Director thing. Tarkin. Yeah, he, yeah, he's like, yes, Director. And it was Mendelsohn, or at least it sounded like him. It sounded a lot like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really I funny. Wonder, I wonder would they have taken that from Rogue One? Did he ever, like... Well, he did talk to He does. Tarkin, I mean, he talks to Tarkin so. in Rogue One, so I... is it impossible that he didn't even say that and they just uh, AI'd it or clicked no, it together? No, I, or... I don't think so. Here, let me get into another article I have to share. This is where oh, I got oh, the information so from. So be it. All right. Jedi. So, and this is kind of just more about Mendelssohn, because I think he's awesome. He had an interview with the Italian publication Bad Taste, where he revealed he was not asked to return to Star Wars. He, He's not going to be in Andor Season 2, either. Ooh. I know. It's so sad. It actually fits nicely in there. I mean, they just finished recording everything we know is officially wrapped up, and now him saying that he wasn't in it means, yeah, he's not in it. That again. No, don't don't toy with me. He's not. Then again, Liam Neeson. Oh, yeah, they haven't contacted me in forever. And then he shows up at the end of Kenobi. Uh, Katie Sackhoff. Like, even if I was in there, uh, I'm badass NDAs. I can't say anything. So. I don't think it's impossible, even though he has said I mean, what he has said. He was in Bad Batch. I believe that was him. They probably just had him stop by, record a line, and send him on his way. He <laughs> emailed it in. in. Yeah. yeah. He has expressed interest, though, in returning to his character. I liked his character in I Rogue did, One. And I, I certainly think he makes sense being in Andor, of all places. Yeah. What he said is, As for being contacted by Lucasfilm for a new project, I can tell you that no... I have not been approached for something like this. And yes, it would have been great to see him, Krennic, again somewhere, but for now, everything stops here. But as far as I'm concerned, I'd be very willing to explore it further and significantly in that world. I never expected to play a character like that, but then again, I never expected to become an actor either. For me, they are all wonderful things. Did he wink at the camera at any point? Like, I haven't been asked back. He's busy being Skrullos. Oh, I think he killed his character. Yeah. Spoilers oh. for the best Marvel series ever on Disney Plus. <laughs> he yeah, does. They could have certainly got him back in the studio for. I mean, Mendelsohn film some scenes, some there's, lines. There's still room for Krennic to reappear. The character has ambition. The character has a backstory that, if you read Cataclysm, great book, great yeah. book, Rogue One Primer, definitely really, really it's enhances good. the the it, show. It does enhance Rogue because you know some of the like Lyra, for example, who dies in the first like three minutes of Rogue One, like very prominent character in that book, which is, of course, Galen Urso's wife and mm-hmm. Jin's mother. Not to mention seeing the interactions, the reasons between why... Between Tarkin and Krennic is great. B- yes, yeah. not just that, though, between Gaelic and Krennic. Yeah, Galen. Yeah, those are phenomenal. Yeah, it, it's a really good book. James Lucino, though, I mean, the guy's, the guy's an all-star. Mm-hmm. But Mendelssohn says, I think Krennic has a tremendous amount of things left to give to the audience. What we need to understand about a character like Krennic is that if he had had the chance... He would have tried to take over the entire galaxy, and it seems to me that this aspect has not yet been explored sufficiently. He did have ambitions. Yeah, Vader did warn him about those. Don't choke on them. Don't you choke on don't those. Don't you do it. No, yeah. but I think I think I would really like it if, if they would make a Cataclysm. Well, they don't need to make it. It's, I, I it's would fine love as it. Is. Wouldn't it be cool, though? Uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's just a really good book. You yeah. said James Asino is, so is a great writer, and I don't it. know that... I don't know how well everything he wrote in that book translates into a series unless you're willing to take the time and spend the money. 
do Which it. Take the time, spend the money. Everyone says this book sure. is great. I mean, he also wrote Plagueis, another mm-hmm. another book that I'm sure I would love to see that brought to screen. But it is but think a lot of, of the complexity, great, like, a lot of heavy you hitting actors you get to bring in. You get to bring in my my boy Mads Mikkelsen. Sure. You get to bring in Ben Mendelsohn. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah, I would. I mean, I'm not like against it, but I just I'm not sure it's like a project you need to do. But There's a lot of other that things I want them to do because maybe going back to something that's a little more scripted yeah. and solid is a good idea. Yeah, I think you just you, you need to find some new ground, break some new ground with Star Wars. Mm. I love the book, and I'm not like again, I'm not like against the idea, but Star Wars against the idea. Oh, here you go, making me out to be the bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> all right, well, I think that is going to be all we got for this time. Now it is your turn to take to the comments below and tell us what you think of any and all of today's news. And let's talk some Star Wars. And so until next time, thanks for watching.